More than a decade ago, Ruth and Ken Altshuler established the Callier Care Fund to ensure that patients with limited financial resources could receive treatment for speech, language, and hearing disorders. To honor Ruth and Ken for their legacy of care, the Calgary Center and the foundation for the Calgary Center Board of Trustees established the Ruth and Ken Altshuler Calgary Care Award. This special award is given annually to an individual or a group who has contributed significantly to the betterment of our community and advancing the care of patients with communication disorders. This year's Distinguished Award recipient is the Meadows Foundation. In 1948, Allen Virginia Meadows established the Meadows Foundation as a private family philanthropy to benefit all the people of Texas. Since its inception, it has dispersed more than $1.1 billion in grants to more than 3,500 Texas institutions and agencies. The foundation The foundation's contributions span the areas of arts and culture, civic and public affairs, education, health and human services. The foundation has also developed a high priority grant making initiative in support of environment, public education and mental health. Grants have been awarded both in large urban areas and small rural communities in every county of Texas. One of the very first grants that the Meadows Foundation presented was for $500 to the Pilot Institute for the Deaf in 1950. The Pilot Institute was the first center for deaf children in Dallas. Then it later merged with the Dallas Speech and Hearing Center, the Dallas Council for the Deaf, and the Callier Hearing and Speech Center to form one cooperative program now known as the Callier Center for Communication Disorders. In 1998, the Meadows Foundation contributed to the construction of the Callier Advanced Hearing Research Center, and this transformative gift allowed the Callier Center to significantly expand its research laboratories, which are devoted to the study of hearing aids, speech and language for children and adults using cochlear implants and central auditory system processing. Recently, the Meadows Foundation helped make the expansion of the Callier Center on the UT Dallas campus a reality, providing additional facilities to conduct research, educate students, and provide care for patients. The foundation's support for the Callier Center over the years has helped shape the future of care for patients with speech, language, and hearing disorders. We are delighted to have Dr. Ken Altshuler with us here today to present the 2018 Ruth and Ken Altshuler Callier Care Award. Accepting the award for the Meadows Foundation is Bruce Esterline. Bruce is the Senior Vice President for Strategic Initiatives and Grants and has served the Meadows Foundation for 35 years. Please welcome Bruce Esterline. So it is our great pleasure and we thank the Meadows Foundation for all it has contributed to our community and to the Callier Center. And so Bruce, we just want to uh, say we're so honored to present this award to you today. Thank you. Thank you very much and I'm honored uh, to represent the foundation today. 
um, on this uh, special occasion, and particularly to uh, see that the foundation's name will be associated with the Altschulers and with Collier um, forever and uh, in this uh, wonderful new facility. So uh, we appreciate very much the honor. Uh, we thank uh, all the folks that were mentioned already that have helped put this luncheon together. Uh, I, too, have some folks in the audience that I would like to recognize because I have several uh, foundation board members here today, and I would just ask you to raise your hand. Uh, Robert Meadows, our board chairman, son of Alger Meadows. Jean Silvertooth, former board member, and her husband John are here. Joel T. Williams. Uh, Mayor of Highland Park, trustee of Collier's, and a uh, board member at the foundation, and Mike McCullough. Mike, you're at another table. Way in the back, and I know <laughs> Mike is no stranger either to Collier, having worked with the organization for the last, what, probably 30 plus years, and served as president of the board in 2003, and now serves as a trustee emeritus. Uh, as Tricia said, one of the things that makes this relationship very special is the fact that in the first year in 1950 when Alger Meadows made grants out of the newly formed Meadows Foundation, one of two grants that year and one of them went to Callier. So it's a, it's a long standing and a very personal relationship that we've had. And I know a particular family, um, their son was born with congenital heart defects and had significant developmental delays. And the family moved to Dallas and they didn't know what resources would be available for him and they were told about this wonderful program called Collier. And they enrolled their son and working with Collier and Jan Luget and her team over the next two years, uh, he made very significant progress. I know this because that was my son. In addition, I learned just the other day when our board was meeting to discuss the naming opportunity uh, that two of the board members, when they were asked about relationships with Callier, two of the board members raised their hand and told personal stories about how their children have been served by this great institution. You have created an institution that's renowned for its academic credibility and its cutting edge research. But more importantly, you have reshaped how those with communication disorders are treated and served in our community. We are incredibly lucky to have you in Dallas. And we thank you for your dedication to the families you serve. And thank you for this award. <laughs>